In today's video, we're gonna be doing a budget Walmart bow hunting challenge. Last year, we tried to do this challenge, but we did it through Amazon and said that we found the cheapest bow from Amazon. Well, you guys in the comments said that there were so many more bows that were cheaper. So this year, we went to Walmart, we found the absolute cheapest bow, the cheapest arrows, and the cheapest broadheads. And today, we're gonna to be putting it to the test. All right, the bow should be here. We just got the Walmart update. Not looking too good. I'm, I'm really worried. Honestly. All right, let's cut the box open. It's all beat up, bruised up. Looks like it got rained on. Let's see what we're working with. I'm genuinely worried. <laughs> Here's the thing though. The bow that they had in the store was only, what, 12 to, to 35, 40 pounds. And I didn't want to be lobbing an arrow at the deer. I know that 40 pounds can, can kill a deer and it's completely legal, but I was looking for something I was looking for something a little bit better. I don't know how much better this is, but this. <laughs> so this is 45 to 60 pounds, and it is a little bit of a <laughs> draw. The draw length is 26 to 30 inches. I'm like 29 and a half, so that fits perfectly. But this is pretty rough, honestly. <laughs> this is definitely a starter bow, you know what I mean? But this is like a kid's bow, technically but it's, it goes up to 60 pounds. So <laughs> here's a representation of my very first bow. <laughs> How old were you when you used that? 10, 10 to 14. So that's what we're working with in comparison to my Matthews. I think I'm going with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my bow that I hunt with regularly. This is the bow that we got from Walmart. It is 229, ready to go. It has a sight. It has your whisker biscuit situation. You buy this bow, it's upwards of $2,000, $3,000, fully equipped. You can go a little bit cheaper, but this is the cheapest option that you could get from Walmart, and we're pretty much ready to go. I know you guys like these Walmart challenges just because they are a little bit relatable. Some people aren't able to purchase those expensive bows, just like I wasn't whenever I was a kid or when I got started. We're gonna take the bow with us, we're gonna go to Walmart, get some arrows, get some broadheads, get some practice tips, take it over to my buddy's house, tie on a D-loop, and see if we can get this thing sighted in so we can get in the woods and actually start hunting. What do you think? Well, I can hold this up. Yeah, well, it'd be, it would be the other way. Well, I know. But I'm, <laughs> I'm left-handed. <laughs> it would be like this. Yeah. But the other way. Should I just turn it. Oh. There you go. Are you serious? You handed it to me wrong. No, you grabbed it wrong. 45 to 60 pounds. There's a chance I could pull this back. But I'm left-handed, so. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just ask? If this lights up. <laughs> is it glow in the dark or something? <laughs> is there, oh, it's already lit up. <laughs> <laughs> The reason Kenzie asked this is because mine actually lights up. So. They're about, they look the same. <laughs> <laughs> is this? What do no. you think that, what, what do you think that's called? Oh, I should know this. Yeah, you should. No, it's for weight distribution. Okay. And, um, but what would you call it? Like. Something stick. Is it something stick? <laughs> it starts with an S. Stabilizer! Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Oh my god. I heard y'all talk about it so much. <laughs> On that note, let's head to Walmart, get some arrows, get some broadheads, and maybe some field points. We'll pick you guys up at Walmart. All right, we're at the old bow shop at my buddy Dalton's house. We got the bow and we got the arrows that we just bought from Walmart. The bow did not come with a D-loop tied in or a peep sight. Hopefully, Dalton has an extra peep sight. If not, we're gonna be screwed. We might have to go to another bow shop, but we're gonna get a D-loop tied in, try to paper tune the bow and see if we can get this bow sighted in. So that way tomorrow, we can go out and sling an arrow at a doe. Hopefully, I can.
Time has come. Everything's tied in. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it about jumps out of your hand. That oh, okay. Is, that is rough. Is this slow? Oh my god. <laughs> Dalton just said the Native Americans were shooting faster than that. <laughs> Why does it sound so like... Dude, I don't know. Does it hurt? Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Okay, that's... Oh my god. That one was better. I don't know I'm if I... am telling you the bug was... <laughs> I don't know because I was prepared that time, but that still don't sound great. Okay, that sounds better. Bro, that shit looks like a truck though. You can shoot that out of the front seats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go off that for you. <laughs> what do I get myself into? A perfectly good Matthews, and I'm over here shooting this. All right, let's go outside and try to get her sighted in. When we shot from uh, the old 10 feet, it was already left, so we're gonna go ahead and move it. Move it a little bit. 10 feet to 10 yards. We move to the low left. Hopefully it doesn't miss the target. I'm gonna go middle, bot, middle, bottom. Golly, bro. All right. <laughs> well, you're in a line. This is, this is the first shot. This is the second shot. This is the third. So progressively we got better, which is not very good. We're not grouping, but. I guess I'll shoot again. I don't know. Let's shoot it one more time. <sighs> not looking good, boys and girls, not looking good. Aim for the top little dot. I mean the middle top dot of the brown one. The middle dot. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, you're... I'm hitting the deer in the butt. <laughs> it's consistent though. Well, we just got to shoot three times at it. <laughs> We're gonna have to shoot this thing a bunch, try to get it figured out. I'm not sure what's going on. Every every shot is totally different. And a lot of it could be me because just first time shooting the bow, but I don't think we're hunting tomorrow. We're gonna have to practice with this bow for a few days and uh, try to get her right. I don't want to wound an animal by any means. So we're gonna shoot a few more times. If we can get it dialed in and consistently shooting, grouping of some sort, then uh, we might be able to hunt tomorrow. If not, we're just gonna be practicing and then we'll pick you guys up whenever we're actually hunting with the old Walmart bow. All right, it is a few days after we got the bow set up. We're gonna head to the back, shoot it one last time. I shot, after we put down the camera, shot it a, a, a few more times and it was drilling holes. So I'm gonna shoot it one more time at 20 yards and then we are rushing to get in the woods. I got a brand new blind that I'm gonna be setting up, brushing in and hopefully we're gonna get a big old nanny doe on the ground tonight. All right, she is on. Right now, as it stands, we have a $229 Walmart bow, and we have, I ended up buying four arrows thinking that I might lose some, but I haven't lost any yet. Got four $7 arrows, the cheapest arrows that we could shoot from this bow. So $7, $229, and I ended up getting some Schrecker broadheads. I think those are around 30 bucks. So all in all, full setup, ready to hunt, under $300, so. I'm excited. Let's go get in the woods, set up this blind, get to hunting. Get the ground blind set up, brushed in, come back for the bow and all the rest of the gear. So Tide Weave sent me an awesome ground blind. I'm gonna get it set up and show you guys the inside. The inside is the most impressive part. You can pretty much see everything with the ground blind completely closed. So let's get it set up. I cleaned out the base so that whenever I'm moving around in the blind, you won't hear me as much, so. Boom. Just like that, it's set up. Now, need to brush her in a little bit. It's nice, it's nice hunting out of a ground blind just because of concealment. You can move around a little bit more and it's nice to get you out of the rain and weather. So I need to cut some stuff down, brush it in a little bit more and then I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the blind. It is sick.
pretty dang good to me. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right, that looks good. This is why it's nice to hunt in the blind. You have those days where it might rain or it's super windy, super cold, so. Here is the inside of the blind. This thing is really, really cool. So once you're in the blind, you have a 270 degree field of view with the blind completely shut. You don't have to have any of the windows open to be able to see out. And this is really, really cool. Definitely an advantage. Completely closed, you can see out. I got this open for my camera and this open for where I can shoot out of. But everything else, you can see out of completely. It's nice hunting out of a blind. Just keeps you out of the weather, whether it's rain, wind or even the cold, but we're gonna sit tight. Hopefully these does get on their feet now that the rain is let up. See what the old cheap Walmart bow can do. Usually every evening they're coming in from 5.30 to 7, so hopefully we'll get a chance. I'm a lot closer than I wanna be. Movement and everything, and hopefully this blind will keep me concealed, but it's gonna be a tough one. High hopes though. Feels good to be on. I'm hunting behind my granny and papa's and they are about to walk out in the woods. I'm trying to call them to tell them not to come out here. Hello. Hey, I'm hunting out here. <laughs> huh? I'm hunting in the back right now. Say what? I am hunting in the <clears throat> in the back right now. I am hunting in the back right now. You're under attack. I am hunting in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, did you see all them, uh, did you see all them pink stuff? Yes, yes. Okay, I'll be quiet. Okay, love you. <laughs> Don't be shooting. I'm gonna be back in a few more minutes, so don't be shooting nowhere. Alright, just be quiet. Love okay, you, bye. <laughs> well, luckily they're about 70 to 100 yards away, and these deer are used to my granny and papa being in the back, so hopefully these does will still come in. <laughs> Goodness. Freaking cheap Walmart bow just smoked a doe. Probably 14 yards. I mean, perfect shot. I'm pretty sure it was a hard shot, and I heard her crash not too far, so. <laughs> oh, I love challenging myself in these videos, but this thing exceeded. To be able to get out in the woods and hunt successfully for around $300 is pretty crazy. Man, we got the blind set up, came in. That was perfect. I didn't see where she ran to, but I heard her crash. So let's get out of the blind. No need to waste any time and uh, go see this doe. 
We're looking for blood, but this is right where she was standing. And I want you guys to look at the blind. This thing looks sick. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect, 15 yards right here. That blind is sick. Being able to have all the other doors and windows closed and being able to see out is pretty sick. So, all right, let's look for blood. She did not run far. There's not a ton of blood. I'm not sure if I got a pastor or what, but not a ton of blood. At least I haven't been able to find a ton of blood, but I know it's a perfect shot and I heard her crash. So I'm just gonna head in the direction where I think she is. Oh, there's blood right there. Okay. Oh crap. What the heck? This is one of my old arrows. Oh my gosh. This is from way back in the day. That's weird. Leave that right there. That's cool. I just found one of my arrows from like four years ago. Oh, I see her. <laughs> She's right there. There she is, boys. She didn't run. She probably ran 30 yards, maybe. If that. Oh, perfect shot. All right, let me get her in a better spot and show you. Uh. All the boys are busy, either hunting or doing stuff, so. Going in solo this evening. Just like that. This sled makes it so much easier. All right, we're gonna load her up get her out of here, get her quartered up. We got about a hundred yard drag with the sled. Get her loaded up in the truck, taken to the processor. Well, we did it, boys. We have made it back to the truck, took some thumbnail pictures out there in the woods, but I hope that whoever's watching this video um, maybe gives them that, that push to get out in the woods to experience this and, and maybe it showed you that even if you're balling on a budget, you can get out in the woods and you can go and hunt and experience all the amazing things that hunting brings. I can't tell you all the stories that I've had from hunting with my friends and my family and my uncles and my cousins. And I hope this video shows you that you can get it done even with a bow from Walmart. And if this video gets one person out in the woods experiencing what God gave us, I feel like I did my job, but hopefully this inspires you guys to get out in the woods and go hunting and just experience everything that hunting has given me and all the memories with my family and friends. But yeah, get out in the woods, go hunt. Oh my gosh. Ah.